Hello! It's day three of my holiday, my first day alone as Josh has gone back to work today, which is nice. So it feels very, very quiet. I've been up since about 6.15. <laughs> Um, my brain obviously hasn't realised yet that I'm on holiday and so it woke me up at the crack of dawn and I couldn't get back to sleep but it did mean that I get to, got to finish the book I was reading I was reading a book by Karen Rose and she's one of my favourite authors and I really really enjoyed it um, you may notice that I am bare faced today no eyeliner on um, that's because I've got my makeup trial for my wedding day this evening so I'm heading around my parents house later this afternoon um, to meet the makeup lady who's called Zoe and have my face painted which will be very interesting as I don't normally wear that much makeup so for now I've got the afternoon to kill so I thought I'd have a go at being creative and make something for our wedding so basically what happened is I decided that when we got married, um, I did want a lot of flowers and a lot of decorations in the room, but I did want bay trees going down the aisle, it was about 10 in total. Um, but we looked to see if we could buy some and they're quite expensive, I looked to see if I could hire some, that was equally as expensive and we thought well for one day we don't really want to be paying hundreds and hundreds of pounds for these trees. So I've decided to make some. So here in front of me I've got a polystyrene ball one of ten <laughs> you may have spotted them in the background in one of my other videos because currently they're residing next to the sofa as we don't have anywhere else to put them I have got about 4,800 of these they are um, pearl head pins all in white I've got one of these it works the same way as a hole punch but it punches out flower shapes instead of holes scissors and a whole ream of green paper. Now the idea is that I'm going to cut flower shapes out of the green paper, pin them into the ball, and then in theory, it should start to resemble the head of a bay tree. So after one sheet of A4 paper and one and a half circles of the pearl headed pins, starting to look something like this. So far, so good. It's been two hours since I showed you the beginnings of the bay tree project. And I'm now halfway through the first bay tree head. It's taking me absolutely ages. And I know I'm going to have to get some more pins because it's taking using a lot more than I thought it would. But I thought I'd show you what it looks like now it's halfway there. It has gone from the plain white ball that I showed you earlier to this beauty. Now from this angle it does actually look like it's done but it is only half. I've done exactly half of the sphere and I have the other half left to do. But I am really really pleased with it. I think it looks absolutely lovely and when it's on a stick I'm going to wrap the stick in purple ribbon I'm going to have it in a pot, a flower pot, and I think they'll look really, really beautiful. Nine and a half to go. It took me four hours in total, but it's done. I've done my first bay tree. Um, I still haven't got the sticks in the flower pots, but the head is completely covered, completely green, and I'm really, really pleased with how it looks. It means I need 36 hours, and then the other nine will be done but it looks like this now I've left a hole in the top for the stick to go into but it's completely covered and I think it looks lovely so I'm at my mum and dad's house um, dad's going out on his bike because the makeup lady's coming soon and because it's a bit girly so he's going to go and have a cycle bye See See bye. Bye. bye come on down you go Bye. And now it's just me and Mum painting. <laughs> Two girls alone on our own. So the makeup artist has just left, and this is what she's done to me. <laughs> um, it's all very natural. I find it really, really weird because normally I only wear eyeliner. So to have any makeup on more than eyeliner, I find really, really strange. But I like it. I think it looks really nice, and for my wedding. I obviously want to look different, feel special, and in all the photos I want to look really, really lovely, and 
I think I do. So I like it and I'll see her again on my wedding day.